Hello and welcome back to Panda Bricks, where today I'll be sharing with you this Lego bundle that I've just bought off eBay. It's full of citiage, not a good start. We've overpaid for it, not a good start. And there's only going to be 150% ROI if everything goes to plan, not a good start. Now you're probably wondering, why have I bought it if I'm giving you all these negatives? negatives? Well, the answer is stock is extremely hard to come by at the moment. So hence, we're having to pay more than we want just to get anywhere close to buying stuff. And this is actually the first success we've had in a while. So let's open this up and have a look and see what I've bought. Without wasting any more time, let's go in and have a look at this box. We can see it was slightly dodgily packed as usual. It looks like there's a load of new manuals on the top. Now from the photos, which hopefully editor James will have put some images of the listing up by now, we could see that this was sort of sorted, bagged in a very odd sort of way, sort of by piece, but not properly by piece, if you know what I mean. Now straight away, we can see, as I was mentioning, some loose manuals. We've got the uh, City Spacer, that's one of the more valuable ones in here. A couple of sets that I'm not recognising, that I didn't have on my spreadsheet. We've got the Harry Potter something or other. That might be, have a little that's bit of That's with um, Fluffy. Yeah, Fluffy, the new Fluffy, I mm -hmm. think that's his name. Got a bit of tape on this one. Another set that I don't think I had on the spreadsheet. I will try and put a picture of the spreadsheet somewhere here. This is a Ninjago Dragon. So we can see they all kind of have it, have the manual stuff down the side. We'll just try and do a quick flyover. It's not particularly easy to do this. We've got some juniors. We've got car transporter. Arctic, that's not worth doing. More juniors, more juniors. We've got another one of the more valuable sets is this big safari thing. That's part of it there. Smaller safari set, again, probably not worth doing. Another manual of that space set. Classic, again, not worth doing. If you're wondering, you basically just don't bother with anything worth under £10. Looks like part of another juniors thing possibly there. High speed chase, more high speed chase. Lego movie that's probably not worth anything. Crater, bit of superheroes there, and another small city. So you see, this all, it's one of those where there aren't a whole lot of good sets, it's just relying on sort of three or four larger sets. We've got another juniors that's not worth doing. Crater, Crater, that's the same set. Police car that's not worth doing. Safari, thingamajig, high speed chase that's not worth doing. And space shuttle that's not worth doing. You're probably getting a bit bored of these manuals, so let's get into the box itself. We have part of the uh, new deep sea. I can't get them both in the shop because I don't, I don't know how cameras work. So this is the more recent one. A lot of the sets in this hall are quite recent. So this is where they used two of the classic deep sea boat hulls, which we know very well around here, to make this massive boat. That's and how is are the le um, sticker application? Let's have a look. Looks like wow, these stickers are almost exactly the same as the old ones. Looking not too shabby, actually. Yeah, very nice. air bubbles. Very, that's about yeah, it. Apart from some bubbles, like no fading or cracking. Is that a poly bag in there? Yeah. Oh, um, opened. It came from a magazine, as we can see. By the way, it's been ripped off something here. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't really remember where that. Do that. Don't, I do recognise that sort of font. Right. This looks like part of that Ninjago dragon I showed you earlier. Getting that, the getting so on colours. Um, and it's sealed. This is the one in question to give you a reminder. I think that looks quite yeah, similar with the yeah, purple, purple floors. So that's interesting. Now in the park, in the park we have tried to sell park sealed sets, but they never seem to sell. So we'll probably just end up building that so that people people can see the actual set. Oh, we've got another magazine thingamajig. It's a DC the Joker. Thing and jig, yeah, probably can tell that at our car boot. <laughs> Moving on, we have a part of the large rocket set. Not a whole lot of it. Right, again, look at the condition. Condition is looking pretty nice. Yeah, no, no damage or not overly worn or anything, which makes a nice change compared to the recent tat we've been buying. Right, so we've got some flat pieces. Also known as by Lego people as plates. 
654 grams. I'm not really sure why they bothered to weigh literally every bag of stuff in this bundle. For example, we have the part made, ra part made randoms. Wow. 791 grams. I'm sure you can probably recognize some sets in there if you're a Lego fan. That would definitely be one of the first things we look through. We've got, it looks like, quite a lot of the space sets there. That looks like that would be an easy sort. Got some large juniors pieces, nothing of any real interest. Got some round pieces. Wow, really exciting stuff. Boats. Oh, great. We got, and there it is, another diving yacht to add to our diving yacht army that's just off camera. Oh, more part made Lego sets. Before we had part made randoms, now we've got part made Lego sets. Mm -hmm. Not really sure how they came up with this system. Very. Oh, that's part of the Harry Potter book that they had in there. It looks like a truck from that animal set. Try and rapid buy through this so it doesn't last too long. Random, so it looks like some larger pieces. Uh, of course, we couldn't uh, have a Lego haul without a bin bag. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, we have the Lego people and their items. Thank God they haven't taken the arms off. Oh no, I take it back. I see a loose hand in there. So, my business partner, he's not very happy when they take arms and hands off. Doesn't look like they've done it too badly. But just a little bit on that. We have helicopter pieces. We have tiles. Now, the good thing about this is... We use BrickLink to sort this, and they have everything sorted by category on that. So some of these categories that they've sorted it into will make it really easy. We've got little pieces, a kilo with a bit of junk in there. Of course, of course, it's not in focus at all. There you go. Quite a substantial one. We've got a bit of vegetation. Can't eat a bit of that, can we? We've got part of it looks like a crane. Uh, Sticker application is upside down and wonky. That's more of what that's more like it compared to what we're used to. We've got some brick, no blocks, or as we call them, bricks. Uh, we've got one of the more exciting things about this haul: the animal Lego. So we've got quite a few specialised animal pieces in there. Mainly. Elephant there? No. No elephant. Hmm, so we've got better hope that's in there somewhere, but you can see some pretty nice specialised pieces in there. Even if I actually put them in the shop, that would be helpful. Looks like we've got some slopes, also known as triangular pieces. Bit of a fluffy though. Big base pieces, also known as more plates. Got some panels in there as well. We've got some Lego Arctic pieces. Do we even have Arctic? Mm -hmm. One small one. Yeah, that's not that one. That looks like the 60060. No, 60036. Arctic base cam, that looks like to me. That window you get in the grey threads. Interesting. We've got police parts. Don't know whether they're in the shop. Vehicle screens. It's all the fuselage pieces. But also known as bases that are not square. I have to say it's not looking good for the elephant at the minute. Marvel and Batman. And the last bag. Vehicles. Hmm, so not ideal there. Got a few loose things left in there. Let's just rapid fire a few through a few more manuals. See if I can even speak English. Right, we have the diving yacht not worth doing. Bit of deep sea, that's part of the large deep sea there. That's the Harry Potter book that we saw parts of. Ripped manual covers, brilliant. Not even sure what that is, that's the submarine. Four plus rubbish. Uh, Lego City, probably from the big ship. Junior's not worth doing. Crater, not worth doing. Shock horror, that's an alternative build. Oh, we didn't know this one was in there as I drop everything on the floor. It's a Junior's thing. I don't know, it's probably not worth doing. Small boat that's not worth doing. Junior's not worth doing. 
Uh, we got a bit of Batman that is actually worth like 20 quid, shock horror. Something that's actually worth something, my goodness. Uh, I think all I dropped was this thing that was part of the deep sea. So there you go. It's looking a bit iffy. So we'll now move on to sorting this. Stay tuned for part two where I will hopefully get more into the method of how we go through this and possibly even our potential profit. But for now, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.